Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Down to Earth, episode 167 to 168. Let's go ahead and get started. My dog is being sassy back there. Shh. <laughs> Alright. Can you find my mouse? The ace. You want to invite Stace? Have you guys gotten close or something? Well, he has mentioned he wants to get close. Like, in a weird way? Or does he mean friendship? He wishes for friendship. I believe he means well. I think he struggles connecting with others. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you desired my friendship. Making friends is very difficult for me. Oh yeah, you both went out for lunch together that one time. Hmm. That ruffled Kate's feathers, I could tell. Kate has feathers? Oh, you mean his tattoos? Hmm. Okay, so we have Ethan, Kate, me, Cherry, Stace, Dustin. Wow, your birthday will be a huge turnout. Hope you're ready for all the attention. Uh, attention? Oh. Huh? Oh. Wait, is she gonna get nervous and start making stuff float again? Actually, you. I changed my mind. I, I am nervous. <laughs> it is my first birthday after all. Let's keep it to my closest friends. So no Stace, Dustin, or Cherry. You guys know about my secret, so I can be myself on my birthday. Oh, okay, sure. If that's how you want it. Yeah, and then next year I will invite everyone. <laughs> huh, that's odd. As long as you're happy. Zeta's acting a bit strange. Huh? What is that? I just hope you enjoy your special day. Zeta usually excited about social stuff. Didn't expect that. At least I'm still invited. Uh, I'm hearing Susie's thoughts now. Why am I suddenly getting these new abilities? I do not know how to turn it off. Or even if I can't turn it off. You okay, Zeta? I am okay. Don't worry, I'm just tired. Uh, I was just about to ask, um, how do you know? Wow, L really? <laughs> Lucky guess. <laughs> yep, she's acting very weird. I am in need of a shower. Um, I will start getting ready for bed. Good call. It's getting late. Click, click. Uh. I could have just told Susie and talked to her about it. But I'm feeling too tired to talk. <sighs> she needs a safe outlet to talk, but now she's kind of feeling alone and isolated. Z Z they. Hey, Zay. You're about to go to bed? Yes. Susie will join me soon, so let's not talk too long. I do not want to disturb her sleep. Is everything okay? Yes, why do you ask? It's your tone. You sound so down. Not like your usual self. I miss you a lot. Uh, I miss you too. I wish I was with you right now. R really? <laughs> Yeah. Why does this feel like a dirty phone call? I'll see you again. It's not like I'm moving or something. That would be awful. So... Don't be so down. On your next day off, can I come visit? You don't have to ask. This is your home Tuesday. You're always welcome here. <laughs> Kate... 
Would you still let me call your place home? If I were a monster? <laughs> oh, she thinks she's a monster? Poor <sighs> Zay. Okay, will you still let me call your place home? If I were a monster? Uh, uh. <laughs> Zay, are you sure that you're okay? You're crying. I am okay. I have just been feeling different from everyone else. I do not like hiding my true self. I do not like lying to everyone I meet. I want to live on Earth as myself. But I am also too scared to, even though I have friends, even though I have you, I feel lonely. <laughs> I know that actually something I'm, I have worried about for you. I can't imagine how you feel, being on a different planet, trying your best to fit in, having to hide your true self at the same time. You have such a bubbly attitude. You're outgoing and love socializing. It's funny. If we traded places, I'll think you'd be better at being an earthling. And I'll do better at hiding away. But it's okay, Zay. That's something earthlings deal with too. There are people here who struggle feeling like they fit in. It's a pretty common struggle. So don't think you're alone, okay? Okay. And to answer your question, if you're a Zay, then you are my Zay. Huh? Huh? Zay? You okay? Y yes. I, I I am okay. I, I I feel better. Thank you, Kate. Have a good have a happy night. Huh? Wait. Beep beep. My Zay? What was that noise? Susie! She's just exercising before bed. Uh, I will join you. Huh? <laughs> Cade. Thanks for covering my shifts, but I'm back to help. Ah, uh, it wasn't too bad. Oh, by the way, about the birthday party. Zeta was going to invite a lot of people to her party, but she changed her mind. She wants it to, to be us. Us as in me, you, and Ethan only. Oh, so only her closest friends. I do not like hiding my true self. I do not like lying to everyone I meet. I want to live on Earth as myself. Ugh. She said next year she will invite more people. Susie. Zay has been acting to z z Mom? Oh, can I say hi? Might be personal. I'll be back. Employees only. Hey, Mom. What's up? Hey, Katie. Katie. Um, I miss you. How are you? Did you get dumped again? Yeah, anyway. How are you? What has mama missed? Are you still with that little angel? Oh, please tell me you are. Yeah, we're fine, whatever. Ah, how wonderful. You are growing up about time. Shut up, please. We're holding a small birthday party for Zay at my house. And could I get some advice? What should I get her? Oh, Katie, you sound so cute. Your mother is invited uh, to said party, yeah? Hell no, I'm not ready for you to meet my friends. <gasps> Your new friends will be there? Oh, I'm definitely going. Mom, no, you're not invited. A birthday party. Oh, no. For Miss Seda? Oh no, now he knows and he's gonna show up. <sighs> Look, I don't... 
I don't know how you guys feel about him. I still feel kind of weird about him, okay? From all the stuff that he has said and all the contacts and how he just, he's just weird. I don't know. From my personal experience, okay? I have always been the type to kind of befriend all the weird people. And I'm like weird too, you know, in a sense, like I'm weird too. I'm growing up, if you're into anime, K pop, and all that stuff, or computer games, you were considered the loser, right? And I was a huge nerd in school, and people didn't really like, you know, cool kids don't want to be around nerdy kids, you know? So, like, but as I got older, the I started to be friends with people who are actually pretty weird, like weird weird i don't know how to describe it like they're into like conspiracy theories and they believe in stuff that's so extremely far-fetched their minds are not here on earth like their minds are like in another planet and that's how they survive kind of weird you know and they always like they're not really good friends you know like i don't know i got burned by so many people like stace that like they're just so in their world that they don't know how to communicate with you and then when they like freak out about something they freak out and become aggressive and mean and physically abusive like I don't know Stace rubs me the wrong way he just gives me that ick and I hope it's just because the the writers make him that way but he's actually a good person you know but right now he grow he creeps me out all right guys if you guys enjoyed the way i read and reacted to this webtoon feel free to sub subscribe leave a thumbs up drop some comments and i'll catch you guys next time bye